What up, man? It's your boy, Mr. GC, Adrian Taylor, back at it again, man. Oh, yeah, you already know what it is. What you do? You meditate, affirmate, cardio, then start your day. That sound familiar? Yeah, 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 that's for me. <laughs> hey, man, hit that subscribe button. Go on and like it. Hit that subscribe button. Go on and like it. I'll wait. Yeah. All right. So let's get started, man. <clears throat> so today, I want to talk about... I actually... So one of my, my buddies, shout out to Ivy, her and her family channel. Yeah, man. Soaring Sword Family. Check her out, man. Got a great, great channel. But um, I did a video, and I'll link that video below. But it was talking about hate. <clears throat> it was talking about hate and people hating you. Um, and and kind of being basically not helping you, um, I guess, along your way. And I basically talked about, you know, the people in your circle or you attract the people you know what I'm saying? That you need around you to help you achieve your goals. Right. And, you know, she was kind of commenting that a lot of times those are the people, you know, that that give it to you the most or are, are not really supportive, don't really help you out um, or do things. And I'm, I'm basically like, that's not your friend. But what I want to talk about is what that really is. I don't really see it as hate. I really see it more as jealousy or what we're going to talk about kind of like not abundance. Um, you know what I'm saying? Scaricity. There we go. That's kind of what that really is in people that operate in that mind frame, right? <clears throat> Meaning like, hey, you're doing something. They're doing something. You're trying to learn how to do it, you know, um, and they may not be helpful to you. You know, they may shun you kind of look, you know, it's, ah, I got you, I'm gonna help you, but never do. You know what I'm saying? Some people operate where they don't feel like there's more than enough resources, right? In their mind, like, what they have is, is, is kind of gonna be taken or stolen from them because it's not enough out here in the world for everyone to prosper and, and to progress. And we have to stop thinking like that because it's an abundance of resources out here. It's more than enough. You know, you should operate from the standpoint of where you are. You know what I'm saying? And knowing that everything that's coming to you will come to you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can take yours when you have that belief and that mindset. And that'll that'll change, you know, your perception and the way you think. And you'll start sowing seeds and helping people in the world because why? You know what's for you is for you. Stop being scared. Stop operating in a space that there's not enough. There's more than enough. It's more than enough out here for everyone to prosper and get what they need. We, we, we think in a mindset of, oh man, you know, hey, this person has a YouTube channel, <laughs> right? And they're going to surpass me. So I'm not going to help them, you know, with their YouTube channel or be better. It's like, but what's for you is going to be for you. And you have to think in that mindset, even if she surpasses you or, or whatever, like what's for you is for you. There's more than enough out here. We operate in abundance. In abundance. So the lack of quote unquote, thought process of the lack of resources makes people jealous and makes people not want to help you because they feel like you're going to take from them. So I don't necessarily think it's a hate. They're scared. It's not hate. It's scared. All right, man. I already know you're going to comment on it. Let me know what you think about what I just said and we can continue this discussion. Hey, man. Anybody else? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Are people hating on you? Or do you think it's a mental mindset because they don't they don't work in abundance? They don't feel like it's more than enough because if you progress, you're ultimately taking from them and their mindset. 
All right, man. It's your boy, Mr. GC, Adrian Taylor. I'm out.